today we are going to talk about uh, blood pressure and um, what is blood pressure it is the force that uh, the blood exerts uh, on the walls of uh, blood vessels so in blood ve- uh, pressure there are two components one is uh, systolic blood pressure and the other one is uh, diastolic blood pressure to understand these two you need to know about the cardiac cycle there are mainly two phases in the cardiac cycle one is systole and the other one is diastole in the systole the ventricles contract and the blood is pushed into the aorta and because of this uh, ventricular contraction action uh, during systole the blood pressure is usually high and this is known as systolic blood pressure and usually in a normal uh, healthy adult it is uh, about 120 mm mercury after the systole the ventricles relax and the blood flow from the atria to the ventricles and during this time since there is no force uh, exerted from ventricular contraction the blood pressure is low compared to systolic blood pressure and this is known as diastolic blood pressure and usually in an healthy uh, normal adult it is about 80 mm mercury the blood pressure is measured in a person using an equipment called sphygmomanometer and this is how you uh, express it so you can tell a normal person's blood pressure is 120 by 80 mm mercury even though i mentioned these values you have to know that the blood pressure varies with many factors in between individuals as well as in an individual at different times the normal blood pressure can vary so these are the is factors one is time of the day as an example uh, during night when you are at sleep your blood pressure uh, is low compared to the day time and with posture whether you are sitting or standing or lying down and the gender and age this is important because when you are getting older your blood pressure uh, goes up and the uh, level of activity and exercises this is when you are doing exercises the energy needs of the tissues especially the skeletal muscles are increased therefore to supply uh, enough oxygen and uh, glucose to the tissues the heart will increase your blood pressure and another thing is emotional status when a person is stressed the blood pressure can go up now this is about normal blood pressure and uh, next we have to know about the abnormalities so there are two ends the blood pressure can uh, be higher than normal that is known as hypertension and if it is low we call it hypotension so hypertension this is the definition is a sustained elevation of blood pressure above normal limits so here this word sustained is important because as i mentioned before even in an individual at different times of the day the blood pressure can increase but if it is sustained that is for a long time we call it hypertension and uh, next we will see the risk factors for hypertension we can divide these risk factors into non modifiable and modifiable factors so out of these non modifiable risk factors are the things that you cannot change like your age gender genetic factors that is if you have family member with hypertension then you are at risk and ethnicity whether you are caucasian or an asian we cannot change this and uh, the important one should be modifiable risk factors because these things that you can change and uh, can be used to prevent hypertension one is obesity and poor dietary habits like increased fat consumption increased salt and less dietary fibers and uh, habits like alcohol and smoking lack of physical activity and exercises 
increase stress and uh, also socioeconomic status these things you can modify and uh, use to prevent hypertension so why uh, prevention of hypertension is important because of these things hypertension can damage multiple organs multiple systems in your body these are just few and uh, if we consider the brain it can cause strokes cerebrovascular accidents in the heart it can lead to myocardial infarctions heart failure and many more things it can cause chronic kidney disease and in the arteries the hypertension can increase the risk of atherosclerosis that is increased uh, the fat deposition in the walls so can lead to peripheral arterial disease it can also affect your eyes and cause retinopathy and cause visual uh, problems this is why you have to prevent and for that as i mentioned before these modifiable risk factors are important next we'll talk about hypotension this is the opposite of hypertension that is sustained reduction of blood pressure below normal limit and this usually occurs as a secondary to something else so these are a few causes and i'll highlight a few important things one is blood loss that is following an accident or an injury when there is bleeding the blood volume in your uh, the vascular system will go down and can lead to a hypotension and also in uh, shock as an example in dengue hemorrhagic fever in dengue shock what happens is uh, there is plasma leakage into the tissues and the blood volume inside the vessels will go down and can lead to hypotension and dehydration associated with severe diarrhea and various nutritional deficiencies and some heart problems where your heart cannot maintain blood pressure can lead to hypotension so with hypotension what happens is the organ perfusion uh, is reduced so the blood supply and oxygen and energy and the glucose supply to organs will reduce so in situations like shock it can cause multiple organ failures this is uh, about uh, blood pressure hope you will uh, read more and uh, learn more about blood pressure thank you